Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we are going to cover how to change the SID of a system. Why do we need to do that? Uh, let me show you. Uh, I, this is my Hyper-V um, uh, environment. And I have created, in the beginning, I have created just uh, one virtual machine. And uh, these two virtual machines are cloned virtual machine off of this machine. So uh, in, in Hyper-V, actually, there is no such thing as clone, but you can use import and export uh, wizard to do that. So uh, the, the, the issue up here is that SID of this machine, when you uh, clone the other two machines, uh, it remains the same. And later on, you will uh, run into a lot of issues if SID uh, are the same. Uh, if you try, one issue is if you try to actually um, add one of these machines to the domain, same domain, it'll give you an error that the machine that you're uh, trying to add has the same SID as the domain controller, so it cannot be uh, done. So let, let's uh, reproduce the issue real quick, and then we're going to uh, resolve the issue. Right click and connect to that machine. I have not actually uh, taken care of the issue again. So what I'm going to do is try to join this machine to uh, an existing domain. Click on properties, change, change. And here there's no domain right now. So we're going to go ahead and domain. Uh, this is my domain name, Tech Brothers. We're going to go ahead and um, join this machine to this domain. Click OK. Okay, go ahead and give the username and password. If you see right here, the error that we got was the domain join cannot be completed because SID of the domain you attempted to join was identical to the SID of this machine. So how do we take care of this issue? Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use sysprep, that's a Microsoft utility, uh, to change the SID. Click on start, right click on start, run cmd command line, and go to cd windows, and then system32, then sysprep click enter and then we're gonna run sysprep.exe it'll open up a little utility right here called the uh, system preparation so we're gonna go ahead and um, select this option enter system audit mode and click on generalize and click OK and it should do a uh, system preparation and then it will restart the computer and then we'll try to add this machine to the domain and see if we're successful. It's going to take a little bit of time, so I might go ahead and pause the video. And once that's done, um, I'll, I'll come back to the video again. I'm going to cancel. Go ahead and cancel this. And uh, if you notice, since it reset the system, all my IP addresses up here should be gone. Yep, it's set to the default. So I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, the IP real quick. Subnet mask, default gateway. And 
then my DNS IP is 192.168.1.35 so click OK close and we're gonna go ahead now right click on the computer go to properties change if you notice here um, uh, it has actually changed the uh, computer name as well. It used it was uh, node one, but uh, since it reset it, it reset it everything. Um, that's why the, the name you can see. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and change the name as well. Node one, and now I'm going to go ahead and join this machine with this domain. Forgot to put dot local but sometimes it doesn't matter let's see if we'll be able to join this machine with this uh, with this domain tech brothers There it is. It says, Welcome to the Tech Brothers domain. So, uh, this video composed of the resolution of this error, uh, SID. Uh, I hope it helps.